Hello, space enthusiasts. Elon Musk recently shared a significant update, a new picture of Booster 12's engine compartment, which is truly groundbreaking. The return date for Crew 8 from NASA has been revised, but the next flight for Starliner still needs to be determined. However, be prepared as today's episode is filled with exciting information. Let's discuss the astounding end of Super Heavy Booster 12's mission. All aspects operated in perfect unity, achieving a significant achievement in the history of space travel. The combined power of 33 engines from the booster successfully propelled Starship into the sky and safely returned it to Earth, demonstrating exceptional precision engineering. Let's take a look at the pure, unbridled force of Super Heavy more closely. We have thoroughly discussed the engines in great detail previously, but we see a significant advancement each time they start up. These engines have established a new norm by surpassing the long-standing thrust record held by the famous Saturn V rocket. In Starship's first flight, the immense power was evident as liftoff caused a huge crater beneath the launch mount, sending debris flying and shaking the entire launch pad with shockwaves. It served as a vivid indication of the intense forces in motion. However, things escalated to an entirely new degree during the most recent flight. Elon Musk recently posted a stunning picture of the engine bay after a flight with the caption, yeah, it was cooking. The image displays the 23 central and intermediate engines consumed by a blazing fire during flight. The strong red and orange light displays the extreme heat these engines withstand, reaching temperatures of 3000 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to turn steel into vapor. SpaceX has designed the Raptor engines with cutting edge heat shielding and advanced cooling systems to endure these harsh conditions. This guarantees their survival and prosperity in situations where traditional materials start to disintegrate. Let's acknowledge the significant impact of the Raptor engines in enabling all of this to happen. Raptors, unlike traditional rocket engines such as those found on ULA's Vulcan Centaur or NASA's SLS, are built to prioritize long-lasting performance and the ability to be used multiple times. This is essential for reducing expenses on upcoming space missions. Although many rockets are only used once or need expensive repairs, SpaceX's Raptors are changing the game by being quickly reusable. Reusability is not just a trendy word, it's essential for increasing the affordability and frequency of space travel. By utilizing these engines again, SpaceX can significantly reduce launch costs, allowing for more missions and eventually travel between planets. Even though we have witnessed similar events on previous flights, the fact that they landed in the ocean prevented us from inspecting the engine bay after the mission in such detail until now. Recent images indicate residual fuel could have ignited again upon landing, resulting in a striking display. However, despite experiencing nozzle warping, the engine stayed fully operational and guaranteed a secure, seamless journey back, what is even more remarkable. Most of these engines were still in excellent shape, prepared to be recycled. Standing out among SpaceX's engines is Raptor number 314, also known as Raptor PI due to its distinctive serial number. The nickname seems fitting considering its nearly flawless performance in a crucial mission mission stage. If you are thrilled by this, leave a comment saying PI and friends to show recognition for these powerful yet tiny influences challenging the limits of space exploration. Also remember to like, share and subscribe for more news on SpaceX's innovative progress. However, let us explore the sheer strength of these Raptor engines further. What makes this significant? It is more than just a display. At T plus 630, 23 central engines activated during the booster's descent, generating 5,000 tons of thrust to decelerate the huge booster, even though it was just two kilometers from the tower. It continued to race towards Earth at 1,200 kilometers per hour. In a mere seven seconds, the engines decelerated it to approximately 200 kilometers per hour. Three inner gimbal engines with advanced vectoring capabilities Abilities produced 690 tons of thrust to steer the booster precisely at high speeds as it descended below one kilometer altitude. As it approached the tower, Super Heavy had its speed carefully altered to perfectly align with the chopstick system, allowing for a smooth and controlled capture. This feat would have appeared impossible 10 years ago. Let's go back to the breathtaking moment when Starship took off. While it only requires a precise landing, the liftoff of the 5,000 ton spacecraft calls for the full power of all 33 Raptor engines producing an incredible 7,000 tons of thrust to lift it from the Earth's surface. The immense strength required to overcome gravity is remarkable, but what truly fascinates me is the stunning Mac Diamond, also known as the Shock Diamond, accompanying it. For those who are not familiar, these patterns occur when exhaust gases reach supersonic velocities, causing visible standing waves in the exhaust plume. Furthermore, Mach Diamonds are not just visually appealing, they indicate the engine's efficiency. The Raptor engine is one of the few rare engines that can create shock diamonds, which usually only happens with high-performance jet engines. Although one Raptor alone can make a diamond shape, the collective force of all 33 engines produces a stunning visual display unlike anything else. 
this is only the start. We are discussing Raptor 2, but SpaceX is already developing Raptor 3, which will increase thrust levels to an impressive 9,240 tons at sea level. Musk has also suggested a more potent model that can generate 330 tons per engine, increasing Starship's liftoff thrust to over 10,000 tons triple the Saturn V's power. Given all the buzz surrounding Starship, you may be curious about what comes next. Although the future appears bright, there are still challenges that must be conquered. SpaceX is always pushing limits, and we anticipate even more groundbreaking improvements shortly. Although engine advancements are a focus, Starship's upcoming priorities include refining key components such as the thermal protection system and structural durability. Reusability extends beyond just engines, ensuring the entire vehicle can withstand multiple launches and re-entries while maintaining safety. For example, SpaceX is currently testing advanced materials for heat tiles to withstand the extreme temperatures of re-entry more effectively. If these advancements are successful, Starship will be more durable and economical than previous Previous models, shifting the focus. Let's discuss Crew 8. Weather related delays have impacted their return to Earth, a common occurrence with splashdowns. What is the most recent information? Originally scheduled to return earlier this month, Crew 8 experienced several delays because of bad weather conditions, particularly Hurricane Milton, which caused problems. NASA's most recent announcement states that adverse weather conditions near multiple splashdown locations along the coast of Florida are once again postponing the astronauts' return from the ISS. NASA and SpaceX target an undocking date of no earlier than 3.05 a.m. On October 20th, pending favorable weather conditions. Mission managers are closely monitoring the forecast as conditions are anticipated to remain challenging for several additional days. The upcoming briefing will occur on October 18th at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Therefore, we will need to be patient and observe the outcome. And these delays underscore the ongoing complexities of splashdown recoveries. Unlike landing on solid ground, splashdowns demand ideal sea and wind conditions for a safe descent and retrieval. While SpaceX has streamlined the process, parachute landings are still weather dependent. Interestingly, SpaceX has confirmed that Dragon Super Draco thrusters can serve as a backup landing system in case of any complications. Regarding delays, NASA recently released an update reflecting uncertainty over when Boeing's Starliner spacecraft will finally take flight again. While SpaceX continues to charge ahead, Boeing's Starliner program has hit a rough patch. After several technical setbacks during its first crewed test flight, NASA has yet to lock in a concrete launch date for Starliner. The timeline remains unclear, with Crew Dragon missions Crew 10 and Crew 11 slated for February and July 2025. While Starliner is tentatively scheduled for a 2025 launch pending certification, NASA's latest update highlights the significant challenges Boeing must overcome to bring Starliner up to operational standards. Meanwhile, Musk's ambitions for Mars remain steadfast, driven by his vision of safeguarding humanity's future. However, his political views, including his support for Donald Trump's presidential bid and his use of social media platform X for controversial narratives, have sparked concerns. Still, with super heavy poise for action, the dream of reaching Mars feels closer than ever. That is for today, folks. Please let us know what you think of this new update. Also, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating updates.